Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. I am Shuchana and I am back with my new video. So by seeing myself, I think you already guessed that what is about today's video. So about today's video is a makeup tutorial. Actually not tutorial, a makeup. So last week you already met with Shruti and she uploaded some amazing makeup videos. So this week she gave both of us a new challenge that we are going to do a series of makeup using all colors of rainbow. And I accepted that challenge. So you have already seen last week she did red color. So my turn I have to do an orange color. So this is the look that I created. I don't know how the outcome came but I put my heart, soul, love, everything on it. I did my office full day and after that I came back. I did this makeup look and I shoot it so you can understand how much I'm stressed out but still I want to do it just to fulfill this challenge so please do let me know in the comment section below that how did you find the overall look so now let's say hello to my partner in crime he was there while I was doing this entire video and entire shooting hi snow say hi to everyone say hello say hello so without doing any further delay, I think we should jump to the main video. Please do let me know how did you find the overall look. Thank you so much. So we will start our makeup by prepping the skin. So first I will apply my regular face mist just to hydrate my skin and then I will apply my moisturizer so for the moisturizer I'm using body shop body butter well this is the perfect moisturizer which I think it's very good for me because it hydrates the skin it have a proper uh, creaminess which required before makeup I'm reapplying my face mist just to ensure it's really hydrating and last a lip balm a small care for the lip as well so now my skin is ready for the makeup so I'll start with the primer I'll put Maybelline baby skin primer as we know this primer is silicone based so I will take a very tiny amount and I will press on the t-zone of my nose as overall face then I'll move to the foundation for the foundation I will take L'Oreal true match and to set it I'm going to take ELF face mist which is a setting spray while I'm applying foundation I always prefer to take a couple of a spray of setting spray because um, it gives a very smooth finish it creates a very clean canvas where you can do a lot of experiments with the makeup so that is my personal choice personal preference so it makes my work very easy then I will move to the concealing part I will use naked 7 concealer palette and the shade which I'm going to select it's maybe two to three tone lighter than my foundation shade this is the way I like I want my top of the nose under eye middle of my forehead and the uh, upper lip area to be look more prominent than my other areas of the face so you need to give a very good blend in this situation you need to press uh, very softly but you need to do it Mm, by taking a long time then I will go for the contouring part so today I will use the cream contours from the same palette many of us uh, get very much afraid with the process of cream control but it's just the way you blend it and you need to ensure you need to understand which part of your face you want more to be defined and give a structure I like to add some pink colors on my um, contour of the cheek area so I'm using a liquid blush and combining both I'm going to uh, contour now I'm taking real technique contour brush to contour my face I know I'm looking very funny now but this is the way I am so you need to ensure that no harsh line are visible and you're blending properly with your foundation areas don't mix up keep the way it is but you just need to blend well so now to set my concealer I'm using um, loose powder so here I'm using two powders one uh, makeup revolution banana powder in shade pink and uh, technique color correcting powder 
in yellow so combining both i am doing the baking to set my concealer i will let my face to rest for a while and meanwhile i will start doing my eye makeup so for the eye makeup i will take zuvier magic's palette shade uh, nana and uh, i'm going to apply this all over my eyes i'll apply this color as my transition color i know it's too dramatic but uh, because orange is my core color so it need to be a bit dramatic so then i'm picking another shade on this from this very same palette and it called zakia and uh, with this color i'm going to create my crease so now i will take another palettes of odbo and i'm going to take color 21 this is the lightest shade i'm using in today's eye look i will apply this shade um, at the top of my eyeshadows and um, i will continue applying this one until my brow bone so this by this way i think three colors of orange tone are going to be um, look properly visible in my eyes we need to ensure that uh, there's no harsh line of um, each shade boundaries so i'm just giving a good blend but ensuring that the lightest color just on the top and the darkest one on the crease so now i think my 50 percent eye look is almost done so now i need to uh, cut a crease so for that one i will take the same concealer which i used and i will draw a cut crease i will make sure that it is like half moon kind of shape so i think this is the final look you need to blend it properly so this is the look so now i will go back to zuvia's magic palette and i will take color nubia and i will apply that one on top of the concealer area so this part actually giving uh, the boost i want my middle of the eyes looks more prominent so this is the final outlook so for the outer corner i'm going to take uh, another two shades from the auto palette and i'm going to blend it at the outer corner blending 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 and uh, the way you're going to blend sooner you'll create an illusion of a v soon your eyes are going to start it to look uh, more sharper so you need to ensure that no harsh line is there um, in the contrast of yolo and the orange colors so now i will go to the under eye part so i will apply the same shade zakia from zuvia's palette and i'm going to apply that one under my eyes So um, I'm going to take a random black color, you can pick any one and I'm going to apply that one again on the edge of my um, outer corner of my eyes just to ensure the eyes are more defined and it looks more sharp. So my eye looks is more or less finished, I'm going to dust off all the powders and I'm going to apply the false lashes and draw my eyebrows off camera. So this is the final look. So now I'll move to the bronzing. So here I pick mini star bronzer. This is the perfect shade for me. It's not very warm and not very cool tone. It's actually perfect for me. And it's uh, very inexpensive too. So I'm going to give my face some structure on the jawline, on the cheeks area, on the forehead area, just to give an illusion. Then I'm going to define my nose with the same bronzer and uh, this is a tricky part. I take a lot of time to doing this one because I think this makes a lot of changes in your face defining your nose, nose shape. So yeah, finish. So here snow actually just came in front of my camera so I just thought 
just to say hello oh my baby he's so curious what we are doing what i am doing <laughs> so now i will move to the blush and i will take la girl hot island i will take a coral color um blush then i will move to the highlighter lot of blush <laughs> so for the highlighter i'm using makeup revolution um highlighter and the color name is raise the bar well i like highlighter a lot but uh, i think i'm very picky i bought a lot of highlighter but i hardly use i use 2 to 3 because those 2 to 3 shades are like goes with my contrast my color so yeah i'm very picky for highlighters so now i will take again uh otbo another highlighter and i'm using color coral for my inner corner of the eyes and for my brow bone then i will apply uh, a kajal i couldn't find any other kajal i just use my mac kajal i am applying this on my upper lash as well as my, my lower lash line then i will use a uh, nude pencil but i think before that one uh, i will use the eyeliner i'm using lacme eyeliner my all time favorite i'm using that one i think since my teenager age and um, still now this is the best eyeliner i'm i find and it's very inexpensive very good color so then i will take miss rose nude eyeliner and um, i'm applying that one on my waterline of the eyes and then i will use my mascara and this is my go to mascara i'm in love with this mascara and this is from um, n7 i think i have 7 8 i cannot let my stock to get finished because this is my all time love then i will move to my uh, lip liner i'm using pastel 102 lip liner and then i'm using uh two faced matte melted matte lipstick and it is gingerbread girl my bestie uh gifted this to me um while she went to USA and uh, i think this is the second time i'm using this shade well i think this shade is very um chocolatey for this looks so i did a small tricks here I don't have exact orange color as my eye looks so what I did I used one of the uh, shade from my palette and I just dab it on top of my lips while my lip color was bit wet so it immediately catch the powdery color and it I think the color looks amazing so this is small tricks when I don't have exact shade of lipstick so I'm doing this small tricks so I'm ready Beauties, please do let me know how did you find the overall video. And if you like it, please give a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel; it's going to be highly appreciated from me and from my sister. So stay with our channel, stay at home, stay healthy, stay clean, do a lot of care of yourself, and I'll be seeing you next time. Till then, bye bye.